you go to a college campus in this province, you may have a hard time finding students who are plugged in to the federal election. Voter apathy is a huge problem among first-time voters. So we asked Champlain College student Alia Adam to find out what it would take to get teens out to the polls. Here's her report. For many CGEP students, turning 18 this year comes with a little more responsibility than expected. This year's federal election marks their first time voting. In the past, the turnout of young voters across Canada has been exceedingly low. In 2000, almost three quarters of Canadians between the ages of 18 and 24 did not vote. So why aren't students getting involved? I don't know anything about politics. Some just don't really care. They don't think their vote matters, really. I didn't read any of the things. I don't even know what the, what the themes are, you know? The initial reaction is, most of them don't care. However, some teenagers merely feel discouraged by the attitude of politicians towards younger people. It seems none of the leaders are the least bit interested in addressing issues that would concern them. They lack total charisma, they're not inspirational, and they're just not motivating us to go vote for them. They're just not giving us any reason for us to vote for them instead of the other party. In other democratic countries, such as the United States, youth voter turnout has been constantly increasing. In 2006, the numbers improved by 2 million votes. So what's done there that isn't done here? I, don't, I haven't seen uh, the same sort of energy put behind uh, youth campaigns in Canada. Um, I haven't seen us use media that is devoted to youth in the same way that they have in, in the U.S. Um, and therefore we shouldn't be altogether surprised. Here at Champlain College in St. Lambert, the Student Association is trying to drum up the vote. They want to encourage their classmates to have their say in who forms Canada's next government. So basically what CSA did was uh, they offered like this many p pieces of paper and they asked you like six, seven questions, right? Um, who are the leading candidate parties? Students, though they're not really involved, they're actually making an effort. And the cool idea was to give free popcorn to the people who answer the questions. As some students do what they can to get their classmates inspired to vote, others remain undecided. Now it's up to the politicians to inspire and get teenagers into the voting booth. Alia Adam, Global News, St. Lambert.